Hello, uh, today I want to talk a bit more about frontline healing in uh, ZVZ, uh, specifically with the Fallen stuff. Um, the reason I want to talk about this is because it's very necessary for ZVZ, and um, it's also not that common that people do it well. Um, so, first of all, I want to I draw like a situation and like have the theory behind it, like what, what you should do. So if you if you have like a, a, a zerg, an enemy zerg, uh, I'll just uh, do it like this. This is like the, the cross is the shot color and we'll put a green one as an ally. Um, let, let's say this is the, the general thing. As a healer you would want to be like somewhere here. Um, because you can still view the front line and you are kind of separated of your own zerg um, so that they, the enemy needs to choose between hitting you or the enemy zerg for them and if you are in a position that they need to choose between you and the zerg um, and you can heal the front line effectively that's the perfect position. Uh, for the experience of Zeros, you will notice that this is the a very similar position to an that, like a DPS uh, position, and that's true. Like you are effectively flanking your own Zerg from your own Zerg, if that makes sense. You're kind of like uh, coming from the sides. Uh, to give you an example, I uh, I have uh, this footage. Um, I, uh, this was not P my POV, I forgot to record. Uh, I'm at the top left here. Uh, just pay attention to my uh, positioning. Wait, well, you don't they're have to see right now. from the east as well? Like yeah, they're rotating us from the east side. They're rotating us on the east side. We should move north, yeah? They're looking to engage, they're looking to engage. They're looking to engage. We're, I'm gonna counter engage on the bridge, alright? In five, four, three, two, one. Counter engage on the bridge. On the bridge, on the bridge, on the bridge, on the bridge. They're coming from the east. It likes a bit, but I, I think you can get the point. Uh, if I get my tool uh, in here. Uh, yeah, here. Um, you see, like, the, the enemy Zerg is, is like, here. Uh, ally Zerg's here. I am at the side. I am, like, here. And then again, like, the, the enemy has the choice to hit me. Which is one guy, or hit the clump, uh, likely, and that makes it so that they ignore me, basically. Um, many tanks will just straight up ignore me. They'll maybe auto attack me, but that's that's nothing, you know. Um, how would I be countered? Um, one thing is a mace would, for example, just use a skew on me that forces me to reposition or get out. Uh, or a melee DPS would need to pressure me. Uh, then again, both the tank and the melee can get more value out of um, like silencing RDPS or uh, silencing a um, like a, an important uh, support um, or a melee like getting in the back line and, and pushing them out than hitting one guy. And that's effectively what you want to do. Um, I also want to point out that, give me a moment, that the positioning that Kotu has here, Kotu is the guy that's recording, so like I'm talking about this positioning here, um, this this like line here, as long as you can keep distance to your own Zerg, it's also very good because if I am a fallen staff, uh, I'm really struggling with this tool. If I am standing here, I can still heal and, Q and uh, press E on on my own Zerg without endangering myself. This this uh, brings me up to to a following thing that is very important for frontline healing. Um, I used the uh, example of uh, real life first aid. In um, first aid, real life, uh, one of the first things you should do is make sure that you don't put yourself in danger, or you. Uh, make sure that you will not, um, I don't know, hurt yourself or something. Yeah, just don't put yourself in danger. Um, in my mind, this means for Albion, make sure you will not get hit when you're trying to heal. And secondly, heal yourself first before you heal others. Um, 
that might seem selfish, and it is, but think about it. If you are dead, they will not receive heals at all. It's better that a few people die and you live so you can heal the others. It's it's kind of egoistic if you if you don't look far, but in the long run, it is not egoistical. Um, so yeah, that's like the baselines of of like the the frontline healing. How, how should you position? They're looking to engage. Like, They're looking uh, to engage. Uh, They're looking to. Uh, how should you position like when you're moving? It's it's kind of similar. Um, as a frontline healer, I try to keep my shot caller on my screen at all times. Um, like to the side of me and try to keep him as far as possible from me uh, but still on my screen so that I can know where the front line is and where the clumps will happen but um, I am still safe from danger uh, yeah here my position is not that good uh, and I lost myself here the, the footage lags a bit I hope I can in recording get like a clean version so that you guys can see it effectively I'm out of the picture right now give me a moment but you can still see like Koto is a Kamlan here he he sees the enemy backline healers and still you can see glimpses of my name so that means I'm not that far away and this is like as a frontline healer you should be able to heal a backline, uh, like a tank in the in their backline, if he comes back to like the enemy frontline, um, that should be very possible. Here you can see I'm like at the sides, like I'm kind of stacking with this other guy, but this is because we're very spread and kind of running away. But like, I I can see um, this front line. I can see um, the like the entire front line. I can still see my shot color. Uh, here you could argue that I'm not positioned well because I'm behind my shot color, but. Can be perfect. So here our group is too small. This is when I will stop playing frontline. Uh, in the in the sense of I will po stop positioning myself. Um, in a vulnerable state at the front. Um, now I will switch, even though I'm in the front right now, my mind is switching to, we, we need to just survive uh, generally, and I need to ensure I am safe first. And this means I will position myself like a normal healer in the back line, uh, and so on. So frontline healing doesn't mean like, oh, I'm a frontline healer, I need to heal tanks, oh, I can't do anything else. Like, it, you're still a healer, man. Like, you need to make sure that, you know, the people get their heals. Uh, so the build I uh, run is, f uh, so Fallen Staff, I think you can't really frontline heal effectively with nature, uh, except for like Blight, but it, it it's, I think Fallen is better. Um, I use uh, Night Helmet, uh, Cluttered Crop, Scholar Sandals, and Fort Sterling Cape. I use Resist Spots and Crab Omelette or Normal Omelette. So uh, my thought process behind this build is, um, that Night Helmet gives me more uh, like personal survivability compared to Merc uh, because like Camlin pulls are your number one uh, thing that will like put you in danger as a frontline healer and you can just deny that with the Night Helmet. Um, second, like Cloud Group is self-explanatory, it's the best uh, thing for a healer in CVZ. Uh, Scholar Sandals will both give you energy and it will make you immune to slows, so this is exceptionally good when you need to get out of Onion Rings or uh, uh, Inertia Rings, um, and like to get you back up with energy. And then I use a Fort Sterling Cape to give me some extra survivability. If you are uh, godlike at positioning, you will not need it. Um, but uh, and you can go limb her skip 
However, I think it's it, for Sterling Cape is uh, very good because it gives you some extra survivability. Uh, it goes well with like the frontline healing. Uh, so yeah, that's like the bolt uh, I like to use. Uh, like I said, you can you can differ from this. Like Merc Hood is a very good alternative. Uh, it's like personal preference. Uh, you could run Blight, but then my my advice is not that applicable because my um, way to look at this is to use like my Fallen E as like a prime thing and my my uh, Q. Uh, as a Blight, you would try to get also on the sides, but when you use your reset, you need to be in the middle of uh, the thing, and you actually want to wait till like the most of the damage already happens. I don't have any clips because uh, like I don't see much Blight frontline healers. I do know that it exists. Some people play it, but I think frontline healing should be done by Fallen's. I also wanted to uh, show this example. Um, it's not really a good example. Like this person is not that experienced in frontline healing. However, they, they show like a pretty good example of a uh, hypothetical situation uh, that I just like found useful to show. Um, so yeah. It's like... So step step back, not west a bit. Step back, not west a bit. And southwest, southeast in five. Southeast on the tanks. Four, three, two. One. Southeast and tax. Southeast, 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 Southeast,